Today I'm going to show you how to keep track of the score in your game. What's up guys? In this video I want to cover one of the most basic needs for any game. How to keep track of a player's score. This is a great video for beginners, so go ahead and open up Unity and let's just get started. To demonstrate how to keep track of a player's score, I made a quick game in Unity that requires you to catch balls into a cup. I've already written code that will deploy these balls from the ceiling and added a quick controller so that I can move my cup back and forth with the arrow keys on my keyboard. To keep things simple, I'm not going to cover how to do this, but you can watch these videos from my channel to learn how. Or if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can just download this entire project from the Patreon portal. This month, I'd like to thank Ray Butler, Tim Webster, Graceful Code, and Robert Boyvin for their contributions. Either way, the information from this video can be applied to any game, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. The first thing we want to do is add colliders to our objects. For our circle prefab, let's go ahead and add a circle collider 2D. We also want to add a rigid body 2D to this object, and let's just make sure the gravity is set to 1. This allows our balls to fall down from the ceiling. Next, we're going to want to add a collider to our cup. For this, I want the balls to be able to fall into the cup, so I'm going to use an Edge Collider 2D. Then I want to press Edit Collider and drag our green line so it fits the outside edges of our shape. If you click somewhere in the middle of this line, it creates a new point, so let's go ahead and do that until our line wraps around the outside edge of our cup. Then let's also add a Rigid Body 2D to this object. For this, let's just set the body type to kinematic because we don't want the cup to move on impact of the balls, but we also need rigid body so we can move our cup around the screen. Once that's added, I'm going to download the move object using rigid body 2D script from the resources section of our website and import it into our project. Then go ahead and drag the script onto our cup object and press play. We should see that our balls spawn and fall from the ceiling and if done properly, we should be able to catch these balls in our cup. And now that our scene is set up, we can work on keeping track of our score. For this example, I want to add a point to our score every time a ball lands in our cup. So to do that, first let's create a new C Sharp script called Cup Game, and then drag it into our cup object, and then just go ahead and open up in the editor. The first thing we want to do is create a reference for our score. We will do this with a variable type called integer. So let's write public int score. Then we want to create a function to increment the score, so let's write void add score, and then in brackets, let's write score plus plus. Now in order to detect when the ball lands inside this cup, we need to create a trigger collider. Trigger colliders are basically invisible colliders that don't interact with the physics of objects, but instead just send a message to our script that says, hey, these objects collided. So back in Unity, let's go to our cup object again, and let's add another edge collider 2D. This time check the box that says is trigger. Then click on edit collider, and let's just make a small line inside our cup. The moment our white circle collides with this green line is when our script will be notified of a collision, so let's place this line on the bottom of our cup. And then back in our code, we can receive this collision message using a built-in Unity function. In order for it to work properly, you must write it exactly as I do. So go ahead and write private void on trigger enter 2D and then in parentheses write collider 2D and then put other. This other variable refers to the object that is colliding with our cup object, which in this case will be our white balls. So the first thing we want to do is remove the white ball from the scene on impact. So let's write destroy, and then in parentheses put other dot game object. And then right below it, let's execute our add score function by writing add score with an open and close parentheses after it. Then let's make sure we save our script and go back into Unity to test to make sure it works. Now if we press play in the editor, let's keep an eye on our inspector window. Next to where it says score, we should see the number zero, and then whenever we catch a ball in the cup, we should see that our number increments. This lets us know that our script is working properly. So now it's time to create a visual on screen to show our current score while we are playing. For this, I'm going to add a text box by right clicking in our project window, and then going to UI, and then text. Let's just give this new text box a name like score text. And I'm not really a fan of this font, so I'm going to import a Google font. For this example, I'm going to use Montserrat Black. So to do so, I just need to download it from Google and then drag it into my scene. Then I should be able to select this font from the font window in my inspector. And then real quick, I'm just going to style this font by first making it white with about a 50% opacity. And then I'm going to drag this into the center of the screen and I'm going to drag the corners of this object to the edges of my canvas so that it scales for any screen size. And then lastly, I'm going to increase the font size and center the alignment. For the default text, let's just put zero since that's what our score is going to start at. Then back in our script, we're going to want to modify the text in this text box. 
This can be done very easily, but first we needed to include the UI library, so up at the top, let's write using unity.ui. This now allows us to reference our text box in our script. So firstly, let's create a reference for this by writing public text, and let's just call this score text. Then in our add score function, let's modify the text in our text box by writing score text dot text equals score. But since our score is an integer, we need to convert it into a string. So after score, let's write dot to string. This will change our text box to display the value of our score as it gets updated. Our script will know which text box to modify because we set a reference for it at the top here. Now we just want to go back into Unity and link that variable to the text box we want to manipulate. So go ahead and select our score text object and drag it into the inspector where it says score text. This connects this specific game object to the reference in our script. And now if we press play in Unity, we should see our score updates every time we catch a ball. Now to spice this up, let's set up the script to say we won after we collect five balls. So in our update function, let's write an if statement that says if score is greater than or equal to five, and then in the brackets, let's put a function called you win. Although we haven't defined this function yet, so right below it, let's put void you win, and in brackets, let's just change our text box text. So let's write score text dot text equals, and in quotations, let's put you win. And just for a fun effect, let's just pause the game after we've won. To do this with one line of code, let's write time dot time scale equals zero F. This basically stops all motion in the game, giving us the appearance that the game has stopped. And there you have it. You now have the basic components of a game. Please check out our other tutorials to do more advanced things with your game. And if you want to download this project, including the artwork that was used, become a member on Patreon. All Patreon subscribers have access to all the projects that are used in these videos, plus tons more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.